Hey folks, in this video I took two evenings to make it. I took one evening was pretty, one evening was kind of windy. But what I want to do is show you how to fish docks. This is post spawn. The crappie are moving up and they're setting four to six foot under, under these uh, structures. They're on the very fronts of them. They like to double post. I'm going to show you some live sco scope shots of these videos and how I approached them. How I fished around the dock, picked them apart a little bit. The docks that had the crappie. Caught a bunch of crappy guys. Hey, my name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. Let's watch the video. All right, guys. Got one. We got one. Y'all gonna ask me? I know this. I'm gonna pick him up. Y'all gonna ask me what that, what these uh, orange and green things are for? I know. I've had them on here a couple times, and nobody's ever asked me. And I've been thinking somebody's gonna ask me, but they haven't yet. <laughs> okay guys he's a he's a starter he's probably nine and a half ten inches good starter fish all right oh God, we're just fishing for crap everywhere there's a lot of sun perch in here a lot of these fish i showed you on that beaver hut were sun perch caught one crappy there and if it, if it was any of them were crappy gosh it's like, like a nice one if any of them were crappy it didn't want to bite it is a nice one so I left them and uh, didn't go far. Just went up a cove. This is a nice one. Look here. Bam! What a nice. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize he was that big. I caught him. Good gosh, guys. Look at that hog. I bet you he's 15 inches. Now, y'all know a lot of my videos, I've been measuring because the guy's been saying I've been over guessing him. All right, guys, I'm saying he's 15 inches. All right, guys. I'm saying he's right there. Look here. See there? He's 14 and three quarter. That's what I said. He's. That's a that's a hog. That's a pound and a half crappy. <laughs> now, wouldn't y'all say that was a fair guess? Don't say big guess that board. Or to my reel here. Look. So he's right there. He's he's a quarter inch from being 15 inches. So. I'm saying when I say they're 15 inches, they're pretty close. I didn't say I was on the nose all the time, but I like to be. <laughs> I like to be. I'm not always on the nose. See you, buddy. Guys, see these ropes right there? There's fish right here under. That's one of those floating mats that people used to swim off of. <laughs> all right, I'm coming around to this dock. The dock I just caught the crappy off of. See, I can't think of That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for fish sticking out on the side or anything what I seen that last time was like when I just caught I threw that I seen a, a spot that, like that that's what I threw that a spot that looked like it was a lump on the sea see, see now see how I can see it like it's a, a knot right here on the side of the post that's probably a fish all right that's the kind of thing I'm looking for I'm just I'm cut, just covering some ground this evening okay okay guys Found another one. He's a small one. He's gonna surprise you. I said he's small. He's he's a ten incher. Now he come off this dock here. That's why you leave him. I caught the big one back there. And see, after I caught him, I seen two more. They wouldn't follow me. It was two, three on this dock. They wouldn't even pay any attention. I was going to the next dock. I'm not gonna spend my waste my time on on uh, fish that don't bite. I'm gonna keep on going. All right, guys. See this? See that ball right there? It's a double post right here on this dock. All right, see, see him coming out there after my bait? Ah, I missed him. I'm gonna reel it in, take it away from him, and I'm gonna throw it back. Oh, uh, bad cast. Too far from the dock, probably. Right under 25 foot. Right here, see, they was right there when I cast it the first time. My cast was too poor that time. I didn't get close enough to the dock. You got to get up close to it. They won't pay attention to you. Darn bugs. Come on, bug. You know, I hate what I'm trying to fish and bugs flying around your face. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you what I've done. I threw over and threw over a couple times. I thought, before I leave these fish, before I leave these fish, I'm, I, I think they're decent fish. But I think I done, they done keyed in on me. Look what I put on. Yeah. That's a Berkeley Galt Mena. Was it two and an eighth or whatever? 
about the same size. He's about ten and a half. I'm gonna check him. Ten inches. Maybe he might push more than that. Yeah, he's gonna push more, it guys. He's eleven and three quarter. Eleven and three quarter. So he's 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 smaller. I mean, the bigger than I thought he was. But uh, let's see if we can catch another one here live action. They. Uh, Something about that Galt Menace. That's what y'all heard me say this for in my review with Galt Menace. I said, if you got if you got some crap and you can't get them to bite you before you leave them, if you got a Galt Menace with you, put a Galt Menace on. All right, guys. Let's see them back up on that post. I just threw over there with a different bait. See, they followed it out and left it alone. Oh, what <laughs> I'm hit it, but I was reeling in, guys. <laughs> well, guys, I've seen this fish back there along on the side post. So I, it's a crappy. I thought, well, it's back there by itself. I'm on another dock. So I told you I was going to move to another dock. And I seen him back there. I thought, what's he doing way back there? Oh, my gosh, he's a nice one. I said, what's he doing way back there? And I pitched back there, and bam! Y'all know the rest of the story. I know this house. I've power washed this house and I've painted it twice. <laughs> this is one of the houses I take care of for pokes. Uh, I have fished from the dock before. My son has fished from this dock. Come over in the evening sometimes catfishing. I was fooling around from the bank years ago. Heading for a long time. <clears throat> uh -huh. I tore the bait up. Guys, he's a good 13 inch fish. You think he's 13 inches? Well, he's, he's longer than 13 inches, guys. He's, uh, there's 14. He's, uh, about 13 and a quarter. That's a nice fish, guys. We're catching some nice crappy this evening. And all we're doing is jumping docks. Oops, I'm about to fall in. <laughs> that aluminum boat slick them. You get your hands wet. Like I say, if I don't get some of that stuff off of my hands like that, I can't hold to my real handle. I go to grab my real handle and it just slips, spins around in my hand. So, all right, I lost my bait. That was that, uh, that's a good color too. Can't think of the can't name of the color now. Uh, they're sorry, I hope they ain't hunting for me. Let's see. I'm, I'm hiding pretty good right now. I'm going to share this coat with y'all. Pink lemonade. And see, this is a good, uh, Guys, this is a good clear water color. Somebody asked me that today on a comment when I got home from work and I looked at it. Y'all know this is, it's uh, 6.30. All right. I stained the deck today. Yeah, I know. And I still had enough energy to come home and go fishing. <laughs> I told my wife I was going fishing. What? <laughs> Guys, it don't take a lot of energy to go fishing, does it? See, I relax fishing. Now, I'm looking again. See what I'm doing here? I'm looking, checking the post out, and that's how I found him. And you gotta look close now, because of the, a fish can just be a yellow spot on the side of the post. Now I'm telling people that because some of y'all guys, y'all make comments, I'm gonna get me a live scope. So when you get your live scope, you keep watching my channel, I see a little fish at the corner of this post. He's little, I'm Michael Forthen. Okay, guys, gotta keep my hands up. Oh man, oh man, come on big boy. You think you're a big boy? Heck, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not that big either. Look at there. Throw a fit. You got something on your throat, too. And guys, he come off that corner post. Now, look. You know, every video I try to share something. Today, I'm just fishing, guys. I'm jumping baits. I'm, I don't have a certain bait. I don't have... Uh, if it's a technique, the scene that I can share with you, corner post. Those are double post. That's the walkway. Those are the double post. They're only about... Those posts are, what, a foot and a half apart to make the walkway? That's what the crappy are. When that dock over, it's the same way. So if you're fishing a, fishing some docks, that's a nice crappy, guys. He's a 12-incher. If you're fishing a dock that has those double, uh, double posts, hey, throw at those double posts, guys, in the spring. Got, a, got him, guys. One of them wrapped me around the post. I just held on. Four-pound test. I just held on. I thought, well, he'll come back around sooner or later. <laughs> and he did. He must be hooked pretty good, so he was on that long. Well, he's a nice fish. Throw that gulp meta. 
Yeah, he's a ten and a half. Okay, guys. You see a couple fish out here in front of this dock. The wind's terrible today, guys. This is part two. I fished. I fished the other evening. I'm gonna try to finish it up. You see him moving here. There's just a couple back in here. See if we can catch a couple of those. All right, guys. Got one off this dock. I just showed you. There's a couple. So see that lighter there? They're hanging off that lighter. Now, guys. Yesterday, I fished yesterday evening. This is another evening, guys. I worked this morning. I finished that deck I've done. I went and put the second coat of stain on it. I stained yesterday, and I'm, that's why I moved to the lake. I can fish some in the evenings. So this is the second evening. He's not a very big one. He's about nine inches. But, the, you know, the point of this video is not about catching some big ones. I want to catch some big ones, but it's fine and crappy after spawning. This is late spawn. They spawned it out. You, We might catch one once in a while that's still spawning trying to spawn but I think majority of them are done there was a lay down the stuff they're not in the back because this cove looks small but it's deep and uh, what I'm doing is just jumping docks I'm going from docks to docks trying to find docks that are in 10 to, to 12 14 foot of water that's what I'm doing and they're on the front of the docks right now as I showed you yesterday in the videos of them on those posts on this dock this dock has four posts in the front they're on those four posts and it's a couple out about four feet from the dock all right, see if we can find another one in this one. All right, guys, see the crappy here? These blots between those posts are crappy. All right, the wind's kind of bad, guys. We'll see if we can catch some. That's, I'm on the same dock. Just trying to show you I moved the boat a little bit. All right, guys, I moved the boat up to where I was sideways to the dock. So I'm approaching this dock slowly. I fished this corner. And I'm now fishing the front, very front. And I'm using the winds to hurt me, so... Yeah, he's a little bigger, and I got two pound test, so I'm not getting rough on him. Oh, he's not that big. I get my net out here. I've netted one today. I've been lifted the other one, but the only thing you got to watch with this two pounds, you can't. You just can't go. Uh, you just can't go throwing them around with two pound test. You got to take your time with them. Let's go lean over the seat here, guys. Y'all think I do something different every time I do, don't I? <laughs> Sometimes I net them on the back. The wind's blowing so bad today, I'm trying to keep my back to the wind, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to stop the wind. That's a nice fish, guy. He's a little mentor. All right, guys, they're catching on to me now. <laughs> I had a bite and a couple casts, but I'm going to try to do a live action for you, even with the wind blowing. I'm up under that dock. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'm up under the dock. I'm trying to stay out of that ladder. I'm letting this sink because the, the wind's eating me up here. I'm letting it sink. Now I'm gonna start reeling it. There you go. There you go. Live action, guys. So I let it sink to where I think it was about three foot. Then I started reeling it slow. And I mean, you gotta reel slow, guys. Just, bur just like this. That's slow. You just wanna move it. <laughs> He's a jumper. You just wanna be moving that thing along the wall. You don't wanna reel it fast. Give them a chance to come up here and grab it. There you go. They're babies. They're fun. You know, I like catch a bigger one. I'm going to go on here in a minute. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm probably not going to put any more of these on film, guys. I'm probably just going to fish here unless it's a big one. And uh, see how many I can catch here for about the next 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to go on to this next dock. This next dock. And it's about six docks down this bank in this cove. And I've caught crappy off different ones. And I'm going to go looking for some bigger crappy. Guys, now I moved a little further up the dock. I moved up about 10 feet, so I'm at a little different angle. So I'm throwing a different angle back under the dock, so I'm saying. Now I can get back there a little further. Well, he's a little nicer, too. I said, I'm going to pick this dock apart and catch a few more off before I leave it. I see a couple back in there on the live scope that look like they're pretty decent. Well, bait came out of his mouth. He got me with that fin. <laughs> you ain't watching how they grab you. Now he'll fool you. I know this wind's bad, guys. I can't help it. I can't change the wind. He'll fool you now, I'm going to tell you. Look here. He's a, little, he's a little bit over 12 inches. That's decent crappy, guys. You catch 12 inch crappy. Yeah, that's decent crappy, isn't it? All right, guys. I moved up. Let me get my spot lock on. I was fishing as I was moving. I moved up. Oh, he come off right there. <laughs> That's a long, we call long release. I moved up to get a different angle. 
and I threw I threw up on the side and caught that one. See, it quit biting me on the front, so I went to the side. And let's try it again. Let's go. I, I hit. I bad cast. I hit the post, guys. That's why. That's what I'm trying to show you all today is when crappy move the docks. You still just can't go out there and just cast at the front of a dock and keep going. You got to figure out what part of the dock they're on. As the sun comes out and the water gets hot, hotter, they'll get back under the dock. They'll get back under those middle posts. Right now, they're on the end post. I, um, so I'm trying to help you there. All right. My boat needs to be to the left just a little bit. I'm going to move the boat. The wind's so bad, guys. The wind wasn't bad today. I wouldn't even use the spot lock. I'd come over here to one side and this and this fish. There I go. I got him. He, he's running with it. Got him. There you go. And so I went back under this opening right here. Y'all heard the y'all heard the bait hit the dock? I hit one of the braces up underneath the dock's what I hit. One of the two baits under there. One of the braces, one of the floor joists. There you go. He's a baby. He's probably seven inches. <laughs> Hey guys, we caught some crap. We caught some nice ones too, you know? Got some, de got some decent ones. Some of them were making noise. This is a wheeler head I keep talking about. It's just a piece of 50 pound mono, okay? I tied on a bunch of them. It works, it helps you a lot. Can you still get hung up? Yes, but you don't get hung up as often. All right, this was a this is a bop in here. This is a B&M, both out of them. But I was throwing baby shad like that. Uh, that's Blue Thunder, I think. I was throwing, the, the blue ice was good. Something like this sweet tea. This was a really good color for me today. It's called crystal. It's just a pearl color with a lot of silver in it. All right, and I caught some. The main thing was, guys, when these docks, you got to find out what part of the dock are they using the most. And that's what you want to target. All right, and I fished about 20 docks, 30 docks, guys. I don't know. But I would go in the area and ride down through my live scope and look. And I'd toss at them and look and look. But I didn't see anything I went on. Some of them I'd find five or six crappy on. They would follow me, they wouldn't do anything. I just go on and then some of them I'd find like 15 crappy on and I caught some of them off it. Once I caught eight, ten crappy off of a dock, they'd quit on me. Sometimes they'd move on back further in the dock, you know, but they get tired of you pestering them. I reckon they, they hear the boat noise, they hear your noise, they know something ain't right, they move. But anyway, you got to cover a lot of docks. If you're just fishing, if you're just going in one little cove and say, I'm going to fish these six docks and these six docks, if I don't catch anything going home, you might not catch anything. Cause I went in some coves that are, and that I have caught crappy before, and there wasn't none on them. Crappy move more than you think they do. They move with the food. They don't have no favorite place. They stay all the time, guys. They move a lot. And the biggest thing of catching crappy is finding them. I get to ask that question all the time. Tell me some good spots to catch crappy. And I said I can't do that. Cause last last weekend I went to a spot, and made a video on Saturday on Saturday. Sunday evening, I went back to the same cove. I said, I'm going to go back to the same cove. It was full of crappy. It was a lot of crappy there. They were roaming open water. They were sitting on stumps. They was on little pieces of brush. They wasn't there. The next day, they wasn't there. I went clean to the mouth of the cove, and I found a few up there at the mouth of the cove. And I caught 8 or 10 or 12. That was it. Never did find that big bunch of crappy. And there was a bunch of there on Saturday. They moved. Crappy are like that, guys. They move with the food. They move with the, wherever the shad are. If they're, not, if they're not finding the shad, they go go somewhere and find some shad. They might move clean to the front of the cove. They might move to the mountain, to the channel. But if they ain't finding something neat, and they're not happy with that, they're going to move. Thank you all for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Channel's growing. Great. Appreciate you. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you hadn't. See you next time on Fishing Lake Country. See ya.